Hey, this is a match once again. We're about to have a video. Another paid request, this time for Joseph. Thank you so much for that. For those inter interested in requesting any type of videos, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. Now, Joseph wanted me to react to a song called On the Floor by Ice JJ Fish. Never heard of the person or the song before. Uh, thank you for that. If anyone wants to follow along, I'm not going to put the video in this video because YouTube's copyright system is all broken up and I don't want to steal the person's video. So if you want to follow along, the link will be down below in the info box. If, whenever you're on your computer, click on to another tab, another window, follow along with me. It's funny, I had someone, some random person I've never heard of before go, you know, where's the reaction? I am reacting. If you want to watch the actual video, then the link down below is the actual video. But people wanted the reaction to it. And again, I'm not going to steal someone's video without their permission. Sorry. I know that's not typical of YouTube, but maybe it should be. You know, just saying. That's just me, I guess. But with that said, pause the beginning. 3, 2, 1, pressing play. Ice JJ Fish. Again, never heard of the person before on the floor. Headshot production? Okay. Sweating a lot. If cats had sex while drunk on a yacht ready to hit an iceberg like the Titanic while aliens are watching in popcorn and what pontificating about Captain Kangaroo would not be a weirder experience than I'm experiencing right now. Listen to this. Uh, people dying. It sounds like people are dying or people's balls are in a vice and it's being squeezed and the balls are like exploding and all the pus and whatever is in are just leaking out like a dripping container of spoiled milk that I'd rather have someone put a hose up my ass with spoiled milk, shoot it up and give me an enema of milky spoiled mayonnaise proportions then listen to the song ever again oh thank god it's almost over that might be the worst song I've ever heard in my life that must that ha, that is the worst song I have ever heard in my life and I know I would assume it's meant as a joke 
It's meant as a joke. You're not supposed to take it seriously. You're supposed to laugh at how horrible it is. I'm guessing that's what it is. You have to guess what the way the world is today. Yes. But, I mean, if I want to hear awful singing, I just look in the mirror and start singing. I can do awful singing myself and hear it in the mirror. So, take that for you will. Who is Ice JJ Fish? I'm guessing it's a comedy podcast. Internet personality and singer. Rapper and dancer. Eighty nine million views on YouTube as of June twenty twenty two. He was on TV shows and internet podcasts. Comically labeled as the teen of R and B again as a joke and, and a meme by various notable figures and outlets. He decided to pursue gospel new music in twenty nineteen due to it reflecting the style of music that he wanted to make. He's released three studio albums, three EPs, and three commercial si singles. His unique style of poorly crafted music garnered him several titles from media outlets. It's been regarded as one of the worst songs of the 2010s. Because in 2013, he released this song. Wow, from 2013. He made a guest appearance in Odd Future's Loiter Squad. He'd be featuring an episode of Nick Cannon's Wild and Out. Twenty twenty two, he got married. Congratulations to that. So all I had to do was just create an awful scene, awful song, awful singing, and he gets eighty nine million views. And he gets to be on TV shows. And that's all it took. To make like a two, three minute awful song. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with That's all it takes. I mean, congrats to him for the success, but... I will admit, may be perturbed and mad because me, the guys at Dead Pit, Michael King, Michael OCP, Fabio, the Italian Stanley 51, all these guys, I don't want to toot my own horn, but all those guys do so much better job in actual videos, actual material, actual worth. But this guy. Got 757,000 subscribers. Got to be on TV shows. And now it's these gospel songs where he just sings off key, out of tune, terribly. And they had like 40,000 views or 252,000 views or 19,000 or 70,000 or... 24,000 or 30,000 views. He hasn't done anything in three months. He released three songs three months ago, then one song seven months ago, then one song that was eight months ago, one song 11 months ago. So like a year, he's only six songs within the span of a year. And just those six songs have more views than I would ever get in like a year of making videos with the amount of I mean, it kind of just shows like how much I suck and how lucky this guy gets. <laughs> it's just depressing. Shows how little worth you are when I know I'm, I'm far from the best. I'm bottom of the barrel, but you know, still.
But, I mean, the guy did nothing wrong to me. He obviously hit a niche, a niche, hit a hot button, and went viral. I just sent them this all it takes, and he got three albums. Guess in all digital downloads. Go figure. <laughs> it is what it is. Jealous? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see you guys later. Bye bye.